Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day for all kinds of games, mostly affordable ones. Like this one. This one's free to play on Steam. Check it out. It's awesome, uh, especially for a freebie. But this one's called Space Commander War and Trade. This is the main campaign continuation. This has been a long campaign. The story's basically over, but now I just kind of want to answer some questions, which we've been doing pretty well. One of them was, um, at a certain point, do pirate... Do pirate, does the pirate difficulty that you attract on long flights, um, does it increase with your fleet strength? And so um, I ended the last episode by um, saying we're going to go to the soul system, which is the system that we start out in. And I, on the flight over there, I encountered some pirates with a 67% chance of encountering them. So here we go. We're going to fight them. We're going to see how hard they are. So determining how hard they are. I'm looking for like, oh no. Okay, question answered. <laughs> uh, level one interceptors. I'm not sure if you noticed that. That's why I'm laughing. We'll see how many waves there are and how how much harder they get. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, Corvette. Okay, so missile launcher Corvette. That's um, surprising to see in the first wave. I wouldn't take it as confirmation that the enemies scale with your strength, but... It's a class 5 gunboat? Okay, that's good. So, yeah, I would like increased difficulty, personally. Oh, I thought we got that one. More enemies incoming. I didn't hear it being destroyed, that Corvette. Usually once you get all the turrets on them, then they die, but maybe these ones are special. Yeah, it's got a another turret on the bottom. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. <laughs> just all the ships, and it's... It's just so much going on. Everyone's firing at something. Class 5 gunboat. Class 5 gunboat. Okay, so that was that was it. Um, frankly, I'm just kind of thinking about like the aftermath here and what just happened, and frankly, I'm a little bit disappointed. I wish that they got tougher. Or maybe you could have, um, I don't know, some kind of like randomization aspect where... Oh, now there's no chance of encountering pirates on a long flight. But some kind of ran randomization no mechanic where sometimes you get, like, super pirates, and then, like, you have the option to fight them, and it's going to be really challenging, and you'll probably lose some ships. But then, you know, like, you have the possibility of gaining some free ships or, like, gaining a ship that you can't buy, like a pirate ship, um, like a Corvette or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Anyhow. So we're in the soul system. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember. Was it Saturn? I think Saturn was... No, it wasn't Saturn. Jupiter? No. Uranus. That's where the pirates were, I think, right? It's been a minute since... No, it's Theta Corp. That's Dell. I'm looking up here at who owns them. United Earth. Hey, let's just go here and see what it does. Not really interested in encountering pirates anymore, though, or running up our our clock. So let's just expediate this. This is flight control. Abide the ground crew guidelines and enjoy your stay. Okay, took a little beating. So cool, free repairs. I don't even know how damaged we were. Look at that money going up. That's great. And so now we basically don't have to worry about it. So this is a time of great opportunities. Workers' Union is at war with Theta Corp. If you sign a mercenary contract with us, you may be able to earn a lot of credits. But a lot to you is not a lot to me. <laughs> uh, no thanks. No. Let's take a look at something here. Um, skills and reputation. So we... the This... 
Okay, so this is um, decreasing our, our pirate likelihood. Um, and I'm, I'm not concerned with the pirates anymore. I think um, I'm satisfied with the answers that we found. And so now we have all the skills. And I came to this menu to look at the reputation levels. I'm not sure what this spread is. If that's like uh, a trade spread, how much, you know, the, the difference in cost versus, I guess, for selling and buying. Anyhow, Syndicate's only at 50, which is surprising to me. Because I we put a lot of work in there. Okay, so... Yeah, there, there is nothing there. Again, we're looking for pirate quests to see, just to see if, um, play it through and see if there is, I guess, how expansive these side missions, like the side stories are. Okay, we gotta turn this down. Hang on one second, please. General settings, music can come down a little bit, effects, radio chatter can come way down. Good deal. And we'll go to the inbox. Troy Stone. Workers Union, independent job market. Attack passenger ship. Wait. Syndicate. Plus one reputation. Hmm. I'm just kind of looking, just considering our options here. So yeah, I guess we will. Let's do that one. Attack passenger ship. Details. Accept mission. Yup. And undock. This will be pretty quick work, I think. It'll take us longer to go through menus and fly there than it will to actually fight, is what I'm expecting. And sure, 11 hours. Where? I don't think they're bandits. I think we're the bandits, right? I'm not sure if you heard the radio chatter, but... These are class five heavy fighters. Yep, same thing. Heavy fighters. Class one gunboat. Better luck next time. There we go. And so if you haven't seen any of the other episodes, these these, or I guess any of the recent ones, um, these ships in in my fleet, they're all fully upgraded. I did buy the Mega Pack, um, got a, a bunch of ships through that, and then also used all the money just to upgrade everything to the fullest. So high maneuverability, whole health, shield health, everything. It's been um, pretty helpful. And uh, to, when I did that, it was mostly just to take a look at it. I started this thing out by um, being pretty committed to just seeing what we could do without spending money. But then someone commented on this channel and they were talking about... Let's see. Oh, that's that's it. They were talking about the Mega Pack and what it was. And it was a pretty good deal, really. Um, eight bucks for basically what would be hours of grinding out uh, money and stuff. And then you also get ships that are exclusive to the Mega Pack. So if you can get it and you're interested, it's it's worth it. But let's check this out. Decoded private message as we predicted. They've surrendered. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I would really like some missions for the Syndicate that are... Uh, oh, was it Neptune? Theta Corp. Nope. Shoot. I'm looking up here again. But I'd like to see some... Syndicate missions that offer, you know, like 10 reputation instead of one. I don't want to do 49 more missions to get our reputation up to 100. Hmm. Where? Theta Corp. Hmm. I've also thought about joining the war and just fighting against, um, you know, the different corporations and things, but they, they just don't, 
there doesn't seem to be anything there. You know, you just do those when you're coming up and like you're just starting the game out and you do those so you can earn reputation and um, reduce trade spreads, get money, mostly just get money. Um, and so I don't see a lot of like extra content behind those, but we have, we have 51 reputation with a syndicate. And so I kind of want to pursue that just to see, because if we complete the syndicate, um, like side mission, you know, whatever, like that, that chain qu or the, the quest chain, then I think that'll kind of verify for all the other ones too, whether or not there's anything more than just earning money and reputation. Hold, please. I'm going to figure out which one is a syndicate base. Okay, thanks for holding and welcome back. So I could not find uh, the syndicate mission givers. Um, and I'm... So, yes, we did attack them, and they were the pirates. It was part of the main campaign to get rid of them. And I understand that, but just based on what we saw, or what we've seen, is that you destroy a pirate base... And immediately when you leave, that basically respawns. And so I was kind of thinking that that was going to be the case. Uh, I don't think it is. So I stopped doing that and I started doing this. We're going to, I got 36 more um, ship parts. And we're going to uh, look, at our, look at our money automation here. And you can see we're starting to stockpile the nutrients now, which is not what I expected at all. And so what I want to do is look at our station... And so this, two nutrients every 12 hours. And so this is, yeah, that's why. So every 12 hours, the habitat is only consuming one nutrient. And every 12 hours, the bio farms are producing two nutrients. So that's why they're doubling up. And so I think we just need another habitat, which is what we're going to do. So construct... Five. <laughs> I came with 36. Well, that works, I guess. <laughs> and then um, also I was at the Titan Station in the Soul System, which was our first endeavor into automating money. Uh, thanks to the Ven dude, a user who commented um, on one of the videos and, and kind of told me how he made money, and then we went and did it. So anyway, that whole thing, uh, that Space Station network, um, is kind of abandoned. There were no space parts there and I'm happy with that because we kind of figured out how to automate money and uh, we'll just cut our losses as far as time in involvement goes but anyway let's construct a habitat okay and so we have two and now it's a hundred every 12 hours and so I brought 36 to make another oxygen extractor or a water purification plant whichever was necessary because uh, we've been away for a little while and I just wanted to see how these numbers were playing out and um, I'm kind of surprised by the results um, with before looking at the numbers that we just did a 12 hour mark anyway that's it for this one this is Space Commander War and Trade thank you for watching um, I do appreciate it this is Atlas Gaming please like and subscribe I release content every day we'll see you in the next one